Today we're going to go shopping for a new scooter and I said I would never buy a scooter in yes. Thailand because the rent is so cheap but I did not realize they're really cheap to buy. This is gig. So the ADV 350 brand new 193 500 baht. So once you get to the larger scooters and then motorcycles they're closer to the US prices but these are still cheaper. And the ADV 160 is the same price as what the ADV 150 was. CBR 150 for 93,000 baht. Completely impractical, I think. What's that blue one? Forza 350, I like the color. Oh, check this out. We have some big motorcycles over here. Adventure bike, 500X. Go inside. Big wing. Oh, here's all the big stuff. C bar 650, the gold wing, yeah. I can't believe they have that in Thailand. XADV 750, how much is this? 420,000 for the XADV 750. All the controls on the handles, everything looks the same as the ADV 350. Of course, you have the uh, controls for the DCT transmission over here. It looks about the same size as yeah. ADV 350. It's just longer. This looks much better than the old one. This is a great looking scooter. Yeah, I wish I could ride this thing. Special edition. Hey, what's the warranty on this? Two years, everything. That's really good. This is the coolest looking scooter so far. The biggest negative on the XADB 750 is the storage. You have to get the big box back here. Yeah, you gotta get the extra box. Six or seven months to get one. CBR 1000. How much is this to buy? So 1.1 million baht. Yeah. Here's the thing though. There's no place to ride it here. Yeah. The roads are too slow. Here's another great motorcycle. Come here. The Adventure Bike, 500X. This is a really cool bike. How much for the 500X? Turn 25,000 baht. Feels light. This is a bike you can put racks on and travel across the country, really comfortable. Yeah. How much for the Goldwing? 1,350,000 baht for the Goldwing. I am shocked they have this in here. I think this would be terrible to ride in Thailand, but yeah, that's cool. Well, it's cool to have one. So they have two CBR 1000 fire blades in here. So how much is the CVR 650R? 322,000 baht, that's not bad. The 500 be better for you. That's too fast. How much was the, the CVR 500? Oh, 320,000 for the 500, okay. We're gonna go across the street now. We just finished up at uh, what, Big Wing. Awesome big Honda, big bikes over here. And now we're gonna head right across the road to the Mityan Pattaya Kawasaki dealer. Actually, this is the first Kawasaki place we've been to. Everything's been Yamaha or Honda until now, so let's go check this out. Uh, versus how much again did you say? 619. 619,000. It's got 115 horsepower. You ride the Udon Tani with me on this one? Chiang Mai, comfortable. That's the cruise control here? Nice. Oh, nice. $100,000 discount. Why is that? Special? Oh. How much were the... ZX6R, 464,000 baht. 859,000 for the ZX10. 900,000, this one's more. ZX10, but it's a special edition. And then the RR is one point, uh, was 1.1 million? Yeah. 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 How much, uh, about how much money for all the boxes? 42,000 baht, okay. 20,000 for the back box. Do you sell more 650 or 1,000 versus? You sell more 650. The KLR, this KLR 650, how much was this one? Oh, 268,000. Okay. This KLR over here comes with the lights and everything on it. So this one's more money. 290,000 for this KLR. Another Mit Yon dealership, brand new Yamaha X Max, 183,000. Yamaha Air Rocks, 72, well, 73,000 baht. New Click 20, 125? Yeah, 155. 67,000 baht. Yeah. 67,500. Oh, Click 160 for 72,000. Yeah, I'd go for the 160. You see new one? Yeah. You had a wave like yeah. this, a 110 wave yeah. with a shifter. Yeah. A shift down, yeah. shift up. Yeah. And you had a lot of fun on it. Oh my God, super slow. It's like grandma. Oh my God. Okay, we spent yesterday looking at a bunch of different scooters and we got sidetracked looking at some really cool big stuff that we're not going to buy. But you found one today in yeah. an hour from Pattaya. 28,000 baht, Honda Scoopy. Okay, so we're just outside Chamburi City, yeah. between Pattaya and Bangkok, yeah, along the coast. So both these are 28,000 baht. 15,000 kilometers, 20,000, okay. 16, 21,000 kilometers. Okay, here's, here's my conclusion on this used click. These used older clicks have, something happens with the front brakes. I don't know if the calipers, the piston starts to seize up in them or what. You know, I'm using my whole hand, squeeze as hard as I can. 
it just barely comes to a stop. So this equipment here to me is dangerous. It's not safe. So it's cheap, but I wouldn't ride it on tie roads. Okay, we decided those scooters, they're cheap. I test rode them, they're not safe. There's no way I'd ride them. My opinion, you thought they were fine. You're ready to buy one. So what I've learned in two days of looking at scooters, in my opinion, buy brand new or buy something that's almost new at a dealership. So now we got to ride back to Pattaya. Where are we? I don't even know where we're at. So we're not in Pattaya City. We're outside of Pattaya. We're in the middle? Feels like we're in the country to me, but okay. And this is a uh, 125 Fino. And this is a Filano. The Filano is like a little bit nicer than the Fino. So the Yamaha Filano, the thing I like about it is the storage under the seat. A lot of these small scooters don't have very good storage because the fuel tank is back there. The fuel tank's yeah. up here, yeah, up and front. Have the limo. Yeah, and most, yeah. So that's the Fino, which I don't like because the storage is terrible. The Filano is better. I'm gonna test ride the 155R. So the Yamaha 155R that I just rode is 80,000 baht. That runs really good. That's fun. It's been a year since I rode the ADV 150 and it's by far the best small scooter. There's just nothing better than this. I love this scooter. If I had to choose right now what to buy, ADV 350 or 150, I'd buy the 150. But today we did take a two hour trip to Chamburi City with ADV 350. If I'm gonna give you right on the highway, I'm gonna go with that 350. So Gig, you like this better because it's smaller and you can touch. The 350 is just too big. Everything awesome about this, it's just super sized in the 350. The best brakes on any scooter, super comfortable suspension, a little more travel here so it absorbs the bumps better. Riding two people, both of them are fantastic. On the highway though, and even in town, this is a little more stable because it's heavy. Best scooters right here. You rode those ones, you should ride that so you can compare, so you can see. You've you never rode the Aerox. Okay, yeah, I, I like the Aerox. It's a nice scooter. It's not ADV 150 nice, but it's nice. So she can take that for a ride. Maybe it fits you a little better, sits lower. I like the Aerox, but the suspension's a little bit harsh. Has good power. And the other thing I don't like about it is the horn button right there. Whenever I use the turn signal, I always hit the horn. The Aerox 59,500 baht. What year is this? How many kilometers? 21,000. What do you think? Okay. Electronic key. I'm 5'11", uh, 185 pounds, and the thing, it feels like a toy to me. So you can see, tight fit, tight fit, you know? The ADV 150 never feels like that. There's plenty of room on that little scooter. But this, for you, fits better. What do you think, this compared to that? It's a little heavier, but the ride's a little better. Yeah. Because you can see... You sit higher, you have more room, seat more comfortable. Yeah. The wider handlebar, you feel like you have better control, don't you? Here's the problem why I'm set on the ADV 350, because I haven't been able to find a new ADV 160 to ride. We haven't narrowed down to the ADV 350 or the ADV 160. We need to find an ADV 160 to ride. If you're watching this, you know where one is, we can rent. If you have one, rent it to me for a day. I'll pay whatever. Well, maybe not whatever, but. And then we'll make our final decision and buy one of these scooters. Deal. It's, deal? Okay. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up so we know. If you like the video, please like, share. Okay.